the Polar Express. Hey everyone, today I have some very exciting news to share with you. On November 20th, I'm going to ride the real Polar Express. That's right guys, the real Polar Express. This steam train was the basis for the steam locomotive in the Polar Express movie. Now this is something that I've wanted to do for quite a few years now, and it looks like this is the year that I'm finally going to ride it. So I'm sure some of you guys are wondering what makes this the real Polar Express and where did it come from? Well, I'm going to give you a little background on this train and hopefully by the end of this video, I'll have inspired you to ride the Polar Express for yourself someday. On December 6, 1941, the Lima Locomotive Works in Lima, Ohio finished building Pure Marquette No. 1225. For the first part of its service life, the 1225 was used to shuttle steel and wartime freight. Unfortunately, it wasn't long until the diesel locomotives took over, and in 1951, just 10 years later, the 1225 was sent to scrap. Fortunately, there was light at the end of the tunnel. The University of Michigan was given the 1225 as a gift. As it turned out, the chairman of the Chesapeake and Ohio Railroad didn't have the heart to scrap the locomotive. As a result, a group of MSU students formed the Michigan State University Railroad Club. The goal? To restore the 1225 and get it running again. In November of 1985, after several years of hard work, number 1225 was back in action. But the story doesn't end here. In 1985, Chris Van Allsburg released the classic Christmas story, The Polar Express. Chris grew up in Grand Rapids, Michigan. When he was a boy, he would go to every Michigan State football game. And as we know, Michigan State was the home of the 1225. Chris says that he has fond memories of playing on the locomotive every time he attended one of the Michigan State football games. As a result, when Chris illustrated the Polar Express, he drew inspiration from the 1225. 19 years later, the Polar Express made it to the big screens. And of course, the train featured in the movie was modeled after the real 1225. Today, 1225 resides in Owasso, Michigan. Since 2004, the 1225 has hauled winter weekend excursions running from mid-November to mid-December. The passengers board the train at the Steam Railroading Institute in Owasso, Michigan. They then take an hour-long journey to Ashley, Michigan. Along the way, the passengers will interact with different characters from the movie, such as the conductor, the hobo, and even Santa Claus. And of course, they will be served hot chocolate, just like in the movie. Once the train reaches the village of Ashley, the passengers participate in different Christmas activities. Two hours later, the passengers get back on the Polar Express and head back to Owasso, Michigan. So once again guys, on November 20th, I am going to ride this train and all I can say is I'm really looking forward to it. I think it's going to be a really neat experience riding behind this historic locomotive and I'll be sure to take plenty of video throughout the trip. I mean just think guys, if this train would have been scrapped so many years ago, there would be no Polar Express. It's amazing that this train is even running today. I hope that this train continues to run for future generations. So thanks for watching this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in riding the Polar Express, I'll leave a link to the website in the description below. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.